last question we have for you. Some people argue that social media and online marketing are leveling the playing field for the hotel industry, particularly making single independent hotels as accessible and available to guests as properties that are part of a large chain. Mm -hmm. Do you feel and think that's true? I mean, that, that's really been our mantra from the beginning at Preferred Hotels, uh, Preferred Hotel Group. Um, we, we've, we've always felt that uh, the independent property does as well, uh, if not better, than uh, the, the branded property. Um, we, uh, we certainly think the internet has helped with that, uh, and there are, certainly so, there are several studies that would actually suggest that uh, the, the, the flow through from, uh, from an independent hotel makes it much more profitable than a, a branded hotel. Um, I, I think it's you know everything has its place, right? So there are branded there are, there is a place for branded hotels. Sure. But uh, we've actually proven that in certainly in tier one, possibly tier two cities, uh, here in the states at least, uh, we are able to be we're able to outperform uh, the branded hotels in market. Sure. Uh, our last figures that we uh, we had a study done by HVS uh, showed that our hotels in general, 219 hotels uh, across North America. Uh, ran at 104.5% uh, red par penetration uh, versus their branded competitive set. 68% of the hotels in the comp set was, were branded, wow. fully branded hotels. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think uh, I think um, the internet has really helped with flattening out that playing field. I think hotels that do a good job of uh, looking at themselves online and, and being part of that conversation do better. Um, and I think that uh, you know, it, it, another good example was a hotel that deflagged with us last year, again in a tier one city uh, here in uh, um, uh, the, the States, came from a half flag brand uh, and in their uh, initial year, the, the transition year, have uh, realized another $2 million in NOI on the right. bottom line. It's amazing. Uh, which for the market capitalization rate for that particular market is around about 5%. That's $40 million of value to that asset added right. in a transition year. So I think that operators become more savvy, owners become more savvy, they're understanding that, wow, we don't need to pay all these enormous fees that have this large encumbrance with the, 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 for the hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, for the asset, we, we can do it a different way and we can produce the same results, if not better results. Right, that's terrific. Well, Jonathan, you're in uh, an independent market uh, that has just terrific promise for preferred hotels. Again, I'm with uh, Jonathan Newberry with Preferred Hotels. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we are here at the Independent Logic Congress. This is John DePaul, and thanks for tuning in.